These top 7 business strategies boosted Square's growth. Check if you are able to answer the short question in the pinned comment after watching. Do you think your friends, with whom you share this video, can surpass your score? San Francisco based Square is a mobile payments and merchant services aggregator. It allows individuals and businesses in the US, Canada, and Japan to accept debit and credit cards on iOS and Android smartphones and tablets. The cardholder's information can be captured either by swiping the cards through an attachment that connects to the earphone jack of the device or by manually entering the data. The company was founded in 2009 and launched its first app the following year. 1. Perhaps nothing has done more to drive the growth of Square than the fact that it fills a real need in a simple and elegant way. The company has completely reimagined how small businesses accept payments. Before Square appeared on the scene, only registered merchants could accept credit card payments, which was an expensive and difficult process. It required a complicated application and the acquisition of specialized equipment. In addition, the fee structure associated with different types of transactions often made accepting cards too expensive. The idea for Square was born of a personal experience by the company's co-founder, Jim McAlvey. He was unable to sell a $2,000 piece of glass at an art fair because he couldn't accept a credit card. McKelvey immediately saw the need for a new solution for merchants to accept payments in all kinds of venues. 2. Square's growth was certainly not hampered in any way by the high profile of McKelvey's partner, Jack Dorsey, co-founder of Twitter. Not only did Dorsey bring personal influence to the Square project, he aggressively sought early customers and investors with an audacious list of 140 reasons why Square will fail. Each time Dorsey put the list in front of potential investors, he neatly offered a counterpoint for every objection raised. That piqued the interest of investors, cultivated a can-do reputation for Square as a company, and gained a lot of attention in the tech press. Coupled with product demonstrations that highlighted the integrated hardware and software solutions ease of use, the in-your-face approach immediately communicated Square's high-value propositions. 3. Setup and configuration of the point-of-sale systems was only the beginning. Once in place, Square offered participating merchants insights mined from the collected data and delivered the material via a gorgeous reporting package. For instance, Square can pinpoint the most popular menu items for restaurant owners and target their busiest days of the week and month. Small businesses can then implement big business strategies that enhance customer loyalty and satisfaction all while reducing the friction in purchases. With Square, they could make intelligent big business decisions for a fraction of the price those metrics would otherwise cost. For the growth team at Square could have stopped there and likely still have had a winning product, but they insisted that the hardware, the plug-in reader, be as eye-catching as possible. Paying for an item through the Square system always generates conversation. What is that thing, customers ask, as they experience signing with their fingers on an iPad or iPhone and promptly receiving their receipt via email. Simply put, Square makes it fun to pay by credit card, and that generates word of mouth. Consumers like novel experiences, and they like to be surprised. Sorry, the remaining video will play after this break. These are all the places you can find me. Apart from YouTube videos, I share trendy curated content on Tumblr. You will find all the URLs in the description. Let's now continue. 5. Early on, Square established a close relationship with Apple, which stocked and sold the readers for $10 in every store after the company launched it. When Square received a strategic investment from Visa, it gained a boost in perceived credibility that led to even higher rates of adoption. 6. All of these elements combine to create a passionate user base. Square customers are more than willing to rave about the product, which only generates more growth. When a user pays for an item for the first time on Square, it is almost impossible not to tell the story. 7. Square's success at developing its product and growing its user base is a perfect example of filling a real need with a beautifully designed solution that is the focus of consistent improvement all targeted toward enhancing the user experience. Square's valuation has jumped from $45 million in December 2009 
to $5 billion in January 2014, with no slowing of its growth and ongoing merchant adoption in sight. In the last video, I unveiled Yelp's growth strategies. You can find the video here. Also, you can boost your business using these business growth tools.